So City Classics, we're about ready to get this news updates as I call it on. Going right here. I was late. They waited for me. They covered the 9-11 ceremonies down at the plaza in Huntington Beach. And so now we got So now we got news updates. Yeah. On the count of three. One, two, three. How about that, huh? Yeah. yeah. How about that? Yeah. Hey, uh, tonight's a special night. We have a special guest in the house tonight. We have Mr. Tommy Simpson. Yeah. <laughs> and... Yesterday was Tommy's birthday, so let's sing him happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Tommy. Happy birthday to you. Yeah, and many more. This is, yeah. what, this, is, yeah. this is what we live for. This is what this club's all about. Right now, what's going on? Tommy's down here tonight. We give him a heartfelt happy birthday. We miss him. Last week, we did the first responders cruise, and it was amazing. It was amazing. Like, for me, Dan, I can't help but be proud of this group. I, I, I was proud when I went home that night. And I know that you guys are proud too. I got a lot of text messages and you guys made that happen. It's you guys that make it happen, showing up, getting down here, and showing what we're all about. Those guys know we love them now. They know who we are. Wave to them when you're going down your old car down Main Street or wherever you're going. You see the police department, fire department, say hi to them. They want us to. Thank you, you guys, you first responders for coming here and being a part of our group and letting us show you that we love you and giving us the love that you love that you deserve. So thank you, first responders, again for everything. Round of applause for first responders. And I, and I just saw Chief Handy and Posey and a few other dignitaries that are down here, and they said, "Dan, what a what a night they had. They really enjoyed coming down here." Cool. So, Fantastic. you know, I, it's humbling, guys. You guys are all part of this, this group. So, you know, with that being said. Let's start off the night right and let's bow our heads in prayer. Dear Lord, I want to thank you for all the good things you give us in life. Bring us here week in and week out safe. Take us home safely. Bringing Tommy Simpson, answering our prayers and getting him down here tonight with us. And I pray for Tommy week in and week out, Lord. I pray that he gets healthier and gets to cruise his car again and come week in and week out again. I want to pray for Mike Inglet. I want to pray for my wife. I want to pray for PC. I want to pray for Carlito. Carlito's got a rough road ahead of him. We love Carlito, and I pray for Carlito. I want to pray for Jeff. Jeff Carr is doing better. Thank you, God, for answering our prayers. I want to pray for Tommy. I want to pray for Wiki. I want to pray for uh, Gary Gunslinger. I want to pray for Kathy, Gino's wife. I want to pray for Jim Roberts. I want to pray for Sandy. I want to pray for Muskie. I want to pray for Angel and Trish. I want to pray for Misa and Alejandra. And I want to pray for Tony from New York. And then I also want to pray for Lady T's daughter, Lady T's daughter's going through hard times right now, and uh, her name slipped my mind right now, Lord. Jacqueline. Jacqueline, and I want to pray for Jacqueline, Lord. She's been having a rough time, and she's going in for surgery, and we want to pray for her that she gets through surgery safe. In your name I pray, amen. amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you guys for helping me. You know, power prayer, like they say every week, is working. We're getting bigger and bigger, and we're actually praying for everyone, and I believe in this prayer stuff beyond belief now. I love it. It makes me feel good. And, and I'm so happy that you guys all embrace the prayer and we, we pray together and we, we're, we're doing this together. So a round of applause for all you guys for being here tonight. And this morning, this morning, we're here. Um, really quick, uh, Neville, we get over there on that side for me? Let me get over here. And uh, here's our, uh, our banners for Cruising for the Cure. Yeah. Yeah. Junior Designs for uh, helping us put this together. The artwork turned out really, really good. It's it's almost like perfect, which is really hard to do with banners, how they do the imaging. So I'm really thankful for those guys. And this is going to be up in the Santa Ana Pavilion on both sides of the pavilion this year. And uh, I told Debbie, uh, hopefully we'll do it every year. She said, absolutely. So we'll hold her to it. Debbie, here you go. Thank you so much, you guys. This is our car club, guys. We're taking it to, uh, to Christmas for the year. And we're going to have this up. Also, uh, 
On another note too, uh, Russell is at work with Junior Designs and we've ordered um, our Easy Up. The Easy Up is going to have a bunch of artwork on it. It's going to be all done. We also are um, working on a few other things that uh, we're going to have at the show. And uh, I'm really thankful for Russell. So Russell, uh, he's not here tonight. We, we miss you and we love you, Russ. So thanks again for all the stuff that you're doing for the club. Um, really quick, uh, I want to thank my sponsors. I want to thank Dano in the house. Dano, we love you. Yeah. Dano never stops, man. I, I wish I had his energy sometimes. You know, he's always around and doing everything. And he was doing the first responder tonight. So I want to thank uh, Heather. I want to thank Wayne. Uh, for our house. Thank you, Wayne. Wayne. I want to thank uh, Jamie, and I want to thank uh, KBL Transmissions. I want to thank Devin. Devin's in the house. Where are you, Devin? Yeah. He's on the phone over there. He's on the phone, but we want to thank Devin. I want to thank JNS Gears. I want to thank Joe with Beach Toe. I want to thank Willie's Auto, DWS, and California Car Cover. And then uh, before I get into the shows, um, sometimes I get ahead of myself. I wrote my notes on the side tonight. Tonight's 9-11, guys, and uh, our first responders have put their lives on the line. We, we celebrated them last week, and that's why I didn't do it this week, because I know they'd be very busy, and uh, we're thankful for those guys. And so we all know what happened 9-11, and a lot of them lost their lives. Those guys are heroes. Without question, they run into a building and go do what they do. You know who you are, first responders, like Kurt said. So really quick, if you guys don't mind, it's a little out of... Uh, we're a little backwards tonight, but let's stand up and let's give them, take our hats off and give them a moment of silence for our, for our first responders, you guys. Thank you, guys. You know where, yeah, absolutely. You guys are amazing. Put their lives on the line for us, and you know, 9/11 um, was a really bad day for our country. And you know, um, we're going to cruise tonight for those 9/11ers that aren't with us, and those first responders. And uh, also, we're going to cruise for you too, Tommy. We're happy to have you here tonight, baby. It's really good to see you, baby. Well, I'm happy to be here. Good. Um, cruising for the Cure is coming. If you haven't signed up for spots. Please call me, text me, and I will send them out to Debbie. Uh, we're running out of time. Um, I pre-bought the spots. So I have 17 spots still available left. We sold 83, I think, tonight. We're up to 85 now. So we have 15 left, which is really good. I'm really happy with that. So, But I would like to sell at least five more and get into the 90s. So hopefully if you guys know anybody who needs a spot for Cruising for the Cure, uh, let me know. And we'll get him a ticket. I'll get it mailed out to him. Oh, Al, Al Finnis. You know, Woody, Woody Al? Yeah. The Big Beard. Yeah, he got all me. Uh, so can I give him your number? Yeah, just give absolutely. Tell him okay, to text yeah. me his information, your yeah. make and model, address. Mm -hmm. And thank you, PC. Mm -hmm. And speaking of PC, I want to take a moment right now to thank two individuals in this club who are very, very important to me and all of us in this club. And they're doing a special job for the club on the sidelines. And when I say on the sidelines, uh, every weekend, all their man hours take away from their families. Um, Mouse works all week long. And not only Mouse, but Mary helps. She yep. feeds us. Mary's there. And Patrick, PC, and the Jeff Carr car, you guys. Um, Daniel, can you kill it for just a sec? Can I what? Can you kill that camera for just a sec? Yeah. Just give me one second. <laughs> <laughs> all right. And if you weren't here for that little bit of segment that was cut off, you should have been here because you missed a really important segment. <laughs> <laughs> you missed the best. Um, really quick in the house tonight, we got a special group of guys in the house. We got the Sober Riders in the house. Sober Riders. Yeah. You want to talk about a group of guys that stand up? Do the right thing by the neighborhood. Come on down, bro. Um, Got your name again? Kevin. Kevin. Um, Kevin does the Huntington Beach Youth Shelter every year. I'll let Kevin talk about it because he knows more about it. But go ahead, Kevin. Thanks, bro. Hey, everybody. How you doing tonight? Good. Uh, first off, grateful for the few moments we have here with you tonight. Uh, beautiful cars. I'm uh, very jealous of many of you. But <laughs> looking to a bright thing. Um, one of our guys in the club, he's actually here tonight. His name's Alberto, the one with the glasses on the right. 
Uh, he's uh, been a volunteer at the Huntington Beach Youth Shelter for a number of years now. Um, he wrote me in uh, Heart and Wallet and all a few years ago when I finally took the tour at the shelter. They take kids 365 days a year for any reason. A lot of it might be violence, drugs, all that fun stuff. And they keep them and hold on to them until they have a, a steady path for them to go back to. And it's absolutely an amazing place and it's right in Huntington. And uh, they have a lot of close organizations that they work with, one of which is the Huntington Beach Church, which offered their property for the car show. Last year was our first one. We had a little over 70 cars. We were sold out. And it was a great event. And so we're here to do it again. So this will be our second annual. And um, we would love to have way more than that. If we fill up the streets and uh, the sidewalks and everything else, I, I, could, I wouldn't be happier with the results. So... Anyone that would be uh, wanting to come out and get a spot, we do. Uh, we are doing pre-registrations, and with that, we can keep uh, groups and clubs together. So if it's something that uh, you guys want to get going, or if you just tell us, we'll be grouping you anyways. So whatever level of organization comes with that, we'd love to help you, uh, have you, and you know that it will be helping one of the most amazing causes in Huntington. So with that, I don't want to go on and on too much. You've got a lot to do. Well, that's a great question. <laughs> a little bit more about it then. October twelfth, uh, ten to two is the is the time, and uh, we try to have the cards in about at least an hour before that. And uh, we have uh, donuts and coffee for all of the registrants, so that way it's kind of small card talk, hangout time. And then uh, on top of it, if you do come. Uh, if you can, please bring a bag of candy because it's also a great local event to do a trunk or treat with the local families and the kids. And that was a huge hit last year and we do a costume contest with the kids and we have a bounce house. It's very family oriented. It's actually the only event that I've ever thrown that my wife said good job. So, <laughs> and that's because it kept the kids entertained the whole time uh, as we had a lot of great rides out there as well. So, uh, it's at the Huntington Beach Church, which is off of Ellis, October 12th. 10, 10 to 2 is the show. Um, live entertainment. What else? Uh, 40, but we're asking $40 per car this year. And uh, it's because we're trying to raise just yet even more money than we were able to raise last year for them. So what else? I think that's about it, man. Other than that, cool, brother, man. yeah, we're grateful to cruise with you guys tonight, too. Yeah, we're looking hey, forward to it. Kevin, can I have one of those? I'll put it on our club calendar. Absolutely. Absolutely. Thank you, Robert. Yeah. Thanks for coming down. Thank you. All right. Thanks, Thanks, Got some here in the house. I'll let them get up and talk. Uh, Barefoot Brian's group, come on up. Hi guys, I'm Chris from Chimera Motors. Um, I just want to invite you all to our fifth annual open house car show. It's informal. There's no charge. It's just something we started doing every year to kind of hang out with the community. We do a, a nice barbecue with filet mignon and uh, chicken kebabs, raw worst. Uh, we got a live band. Gangster Joe yep. cooks for him. Joe yep. and Beach oh, Joe. Yeah, so Joe uh, our family Beach cooks for him. He's been to our barbecue. I know how he cooks up. Yeah, I'll be over there and get some good. You got Pat's attention over here, too. Oh, you right away. The food is good. The food is good. Um, you know, we've got a few sponsors. We've got a few. Um, we've got a raffle. Anybody who brings a car, we give out raffle tickets for Do a little raffle. Um, but, yeah, it's 9 to 1 o'clock on September 21st, Saturday. So if you, anybody wants to come... It's helpful for us if you sign up on our website. Um, it's uh, you can still come if you don't, but it just kind of gives us a headcount for how much food and, and drinks to bring. At my, it's at uh, Chimera Motors. It's off of Beach and Talford. Okay. Off Redondo Circle. Oh, all right. Okay. It's a fun little show to go to. Bunch. Of, it's like it's like going to a big uh, car club show because most of us go and just have a good time all day and get some free food. So yeah. hope you guys can make it. Man. Yeah. No strings. Free show. Thank you, bro. All right. Thanks. Thank you. Robert's got a couple things he wants to talk, and then we're going to let Dominic get up, and then we're going to talk about the new guys and rules and get out of here. Well, everyone knows I go all over the place to shows. Uh, that's no uh, exaggeration. Uh, last night at the um, Carl's Jr. show, a guy gave me this flyer. He said he's been here before. He's, it's for a good cause. It's uh, the Kiwanis Club of Garden Grove. They're putting on a show. Uh, it's kind of a charity fundraiser type of thing for the Kiwanis land of Garden Grove. So he asked me to mention it here and bring some flyers, so I've got those. Um, I'm 
I'm planning on heading back to Escondido for the Cruising Grand. I'm probably not going to drive my car, only because <laughs> yeah. it's, um, it's the night before um, Cruising for a Cure, the 28th or 27th. 27th, yeah. Um, it's Nitro Night. It's the last Ooh. night of the Cruising Grand show. They're going to have all the nostalgia dragsters and stuff. Uh, they close off the streets. It's about 50,000 people show up for it. Um, it's you know, a, a really cool thing. So I'm planning on going down there Friday night. Um, probably just going to drive my daily driver. If anyone else wants to go, I'd love to cruise with, uh, with some people from the club. Um, I would drive my car, but I'm just wondering, uh, is it a smart thing for me to drive that thing down there and back and then trying to be at uh, Cruising for a Cure with it the next morning. So, and I know a lot of you guys are planning on leaving your cars overnight at Cruising for a Cure. So we'll just cruise our daily drivers down there for a change and hang out and have some fun. Guys, I can't make it club tonight. Scott said something to me about doing something. Where are you, Scott? Is he in the house? You're around, you're around, you're around? He left. He left already? He wants to do what? Did he talk to you? Um, can't remember off the, oh yeah, he wants to do the um, Lions. Lions Museum, mm -hmm. and I'm really appreciative of him. He's going to put it together, and it's for free. Hey, go ahead. One more thing. Yes, sir. Um, <laughs> the Route 66 Cruising Reunion next Friday and Saturday. Um, be there or be square. <laughs> so that's a, another big show with a cruise route, and it's uh, um, Rat Rod Ray, Alley Cat, uh, and I are going for sure. And I'll the the, the more, the merrier. Yeah. yeah, cool. We'll talk. Yeah, yeah. All right. This guy's great. <laughs> I love it. Robert! Dominic's going to talk really quick. Um, but, yeah, the Lions Museum, we're going to do something. We're going to get in there. He's going to get us a date, and we're all going to go as a club. Yeah. It's really cool. Uh, I know um, Mouse has been there, told me it's a great place. I know a few of you guys have been there. I've never been, so I want to go. And then I'm going to let Dominic, our treasurer, Get up and talk to you guys a little bit, and then, and then after that, we're gonna um, introduce some new guys and talk about the rules. And we'll get out of here. Sorry, it's taking a little while tonight, you guys. Okay. Hey. Usually, when I stand up here again, hey. because we need help, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Obviously, you've seen some expenses that just took place. We got the banners over here. We had the awards last week, and um, we also bought an easy up. So we have some pretty good expenses, up, close to a thousand dollars. Right. And so what I'm going to ask again is like we normally do, is those of you who would like to contribute a little something, we'd appreciate your, your donations to help us pay for the, these items. So again, everybody's been very, very good in the past, and we appreciate your, your, um, your generosity again. So that is it in a nutshell. So and we still have car flags for sale if anyone hasn't yeah. gotten them. Yeah, you can still buy your car flags. We're going to bring all that stuff to, we'll have everything at, uh, at Cruising for the Cure, we'll have flags for sale and all that stuff, and that will go into, into the kitty. There's a voice in the back here somewhere. So, <laughs> uh, you know, Dominic, thank you, and thanks, you guys. You know, yeah, one more thing. Okay, go ahead. We got the Cruising for a Cure. Those of you that would like to give an extra donation for a Cruising for a Cure for, for obviously, for prostate cancer, um, we've accepted some checks so far. So if you'd like to donate specifically for the, the, uh, the cause, um, you can just make out the check for, uh, for uh, Cruising for a Cure, and we're collecting those checks also. All right? We're going to have a big group check again. We have that cardboard check. We're going to have Debbie come up. We're going to have a timer. We're going to take a photo shoot, and we'll all present that check as a group to Debbie. And then we're also going to do something else that we talked about earlier. We'll present that to you guys all know, a little secret secret. And, uh, you know, I'm really thankful for all your guys' help and what you do for the club. It's amazing. Um, you guys make this happen, and we're doing really, really good. Tonight, new people. We got the Silver Riders in the house. Thanks for coming. Who else is new in the house? And Tom's going to sing for us, too. Anyone else new in the house? Can you raise up your hand, you guys, you guys? That was a new guy. We got some people from uh, Europe in the house, right, Neville? Yes. What well, we got in the house? Are you guys? So can we introduce your friends, Neville? Oh, stand up. Andy Cowan, guys. These are my, this is my uh, cousin uh, uh -huh. from, uh, from Holland and his uh, fiance Amy. Yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah. 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 We hooked them up with the little t-shirts to take home to Holland so they can uh, let everybody know what Holland we're about. Just to let you guys also know, we have three of these left over and one from last year. And to raise money for the club, 
I decided that we would sell these. Um, I talked to a few of the senior members and they think it's a great idea. I made them. They cost about $40 to make. I think, uh, you know, you guys go ahead and make an offer on them and we'll try to save the money for the club to raise the money for the things that we just bought and that would be a help. So it's something you guys can take home and purchase and, and hang in your garage if you're interested. I have them. First come, first serve. Come talk to me and we'll get it done. Uh, you guys know the Silver Rider guys, you guys are with us tonight. All we ask you guys is don't rev up the bikes too loud to knock off the food plates off the people downtown. <laughs> <laughs> Be respectful. Uh, you know, we ask all the guys, no burnouts. Um, we take two passes. Uh, we're not allowed to go both directions. We only go one direction. So you're going to go down and take your first pass. Right before PCH is Walnut, you make a left or right depending on where the car went. You guys can stick together, that's fine. You make a left, you parallel back up Main Street on the back streets. Come to Orange, come back in the main cut, and do your second pass. After your second pass, Jamie Barnell is our security guard and our detailer. He's on the third floor. If you want to come eat dinner with us, park your bikes. We tip them, we go have dinner, it's a lot of fun. We're eating an HP Beer Company. Anybody else have anything they want to talk about? I forget anybody tonight. Anyone, anyone, Tom? Tom is singing for us, and then we're rolling. Tom, go ahead and sing. Members, we'd like to recognize tonight. It's 7.32 on a Wednesday. The regular crowd shuffles in. There's Chester and Miller, Tommy and Bittner, Stephen M. and Ringland, and Bob Celine. So sing us a song for Sir City Guys. Sing us a song tonight, for we're all in the mood for a Main Street cruise, and you've got us feeling all right. Yeah, Tom. Yeah. How about that, huh? And that concludes this edition of Surf City Classic News Updates, live on Dano Vision.